the first crossover from Skoda cannot be denied originality, even though it shares a platform with the VW Tigua. Let's see how original it is in terms of childhood diseases. The main advantage of the Skoda Yeti compared to other crossovers is the wide possibilities for transforming the interior. The second row seats move and are removed separately, so the first time after the purchase, you can be childishly happy with this designer. But so that joy is not overshadowed by breakdowns, one must arm oneself with knowledge. The most modest version of the engine, the 1.2 TSI gasoline, which was installed on front-wheel drive modifications, is also the most problematic. Basically, don't get in touch with him. A more powerful 1.8 TSI petrol with a direct injection system is installed on the all-wheel drive version of the car. This is a cast iron block engine tested on the Octavia 2 and Superb 2. It is reliable, maintainable, and unpretentious. A number of complaints about this unit are associated with increased oil consumption in the cylinder piston group. To solve the problem, the concern changed the design of the piston. A design feature of the 1.8 TSI is the presence of a system for accelerated heating of the catalyst. Within 0.5 to 1 minute after startup, additional fuel injection is performed at the exhaust stroke, which ensures quick heating of the catalyst and more efficient afterburning of fuel already at the warm-up stage. The sound of the engine at this moment is harsh and even interruptions, but this is normal. As for the 2.0-liter common rail direct injection turbo diesel in all-wheel drive, performance statistics are low. Two of them, with a capacity of 110 liters, with and 140 LS, new and installed for the first time on the Skoda Yeti. The most powerful, reliable, and unpretentious of the diesel engine range, the 2.0-liter 170-horsepower unit has successfully worked on Octavia 2 and Superb 2 cars. It should be noted that during operation in urban traffic jams, an error signal periodically occurs. The system of automatic regeneration of the particulate filter works in Moscow conditions, according to statistics, every 500 kilometers. The process is manifested by the short-term appearance of a cloud of white smoke from the exhaust pipe. But if the conditions cannot be met, automatic regeneration does not occur, and the onboard computer indicates an error, which requires the owner to visit the service station for force regeneration. On Yeti, they put two options for automatic machines, DSG-7 and Hydromechanical Automatic Transmission 6, as well as Manual Transmission 6. All-wheel drive versions are equipped with Manual Transmission 6 and, only for Russia, Automatic Transmission 6. A manual box with a dry single-plate clutch is reliable and lasts at least 80,000 to 100,000 kilometers, replacing the clutch will cost about 29,000 rubles. The main reason for contacting the service station is the appearance of ringing sounds during clutch operation, emitted by the damping springs of the disc when driving under load or tension. For example, when forcing a high curb, this did not affect the quality of the node, but in case of complaints, the disc was replaced under warranty. The modern 7-speed automatic DSG is a box with two single-plate clutches that works without interruption of torque. This unit is sensitive to the peculiarities of driving style. Complaints about jerking when starting off and shocks when switching are the most common reason for contacting a service station. Uncomfortable switching is corrected or by replacing the box ECU at a cost of about 73,000 rubles, including work, or replacing the clutch itself, costing about 44,000 rubles, also including work. All-wheel drive, of course, is implemented by the fourth-generation Haldex clutch. An electro-hydraulic disc clutch is integrated into the rear axle final drive. Four-wheel drive is electronically connected and works quite adequately. Torque power is automatically adjusted, minimizing the slippage of one axle relative to the other. Yeti independent suspension is reliable. The only weak point is the frequent backlash of the silent blocks of the front levers, accompanied by a noticeable squeak already in the early mileage numbers. The cost of the lever assembly is about 7,000 rubles. As already mentioned, in terms of interior, Yeti is a kind of masterpiece. You can blame him for a small trunk, it is both short and has a high floor due to the spare wheel located under it, but the longitudinal adjustment of the rear seats allows you to play with the volume in a very wide range. In addition, the car is still very compact. As you can see, in the case of the Skoda Yeti, the main thing is to choose the right equipment. But in general, despite the funny appearance, this is a modern crossover with a lot of nice options, a variety of electronic assistance and decent driving performance.